Hello, sweet souls. Happy Tuesday. It is July 2nd, and this is your second reading. We're going to call on St. Michael. <clears throat> St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will, your thought, word, or action toward myself or the viewer, we're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel, saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. So I started pulling cards before I even started recording from my deck. And what's so interesting is there is a tower moment coming for someone that tried to come after a high priestess energy, someone that's spiritually gifted. This tower moment is coming because you awakened and someone, and you stepped into your gifts and someone kept trying to interfere with your destiny. St. Michael is here protecting you. And what came out is a water sign in reverse. Now, if you're a water sign and you are not in this energy, then this part's not for you, okay? They don't have to have a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But whoever this is, they're a gold digger and they're being exposed. They're being exposed not only as a gold digger, but a false person. You see, this gold digger that could have water sign placements has been projecting to the world that they're a good person. They're of light, that possibly they're a healer. This person is in reverse. That's not true. It's, they're fake. They're wearing a mask, projecting an image that they want people to believe. They're immoral. They have no integrity. Now, here's the thing. You have abundance, financial stability, and blessings coming. And this distorted gold digger energy, could be a water sign, was doing black magic or having spell work done in hopes that they could end this. But they couldn't because you're an empress. Success, abundance, and stability, happiness, joy, emotional fulfillment. Some of you could have earth sign placements, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you're just very stable in your energy. They want you to believe in miracles because justice will be served. God's wrath is on this narcissistic person or people. Bottom of the deck is karmic connection. God's wrath is upon them. So this validated what has been coming out so strong in our readings. So let's go on to the wisdom of the oracle. We'll see what we get. All right. Truth and only truth for the collective. Higher power. Deep knowing. High priestess. Yep. And the change of luck. One more. Yep. Look at this. They just validated in five cards what this what my deck said god is stepping in for you the person with spiritual gifts the high priestess high priest energy to change your luck that's guiding you straight toward treasure island an abundant life financial stability and security he's opening new doors for you i love it god is opening new doors for you it's amazing all right let's pull from deck do you want me to use let's use this one i haven't used this one in a while all right holy spirit holy angels saints spirit guides and ancestors and i am going to make that healing video guys it's just going to take me a little bit of time because i have so much on my plate but i'm definitely going to give you tips on how i overcame the intrusive thoughts um just give me a little bit of time i am going to work on it and i'm going to post it okay i do need to pray and meditate on it um but most of the time they just have me start the video and talk so all right please clarify higher power higher power yeah judgment god's calling judgment the empress is receiving her good karma and those that have opposed the empress are receiving their bad karma that's god's judgment that's god doing this all right deep knowing did you see that orb guys high priestess energy someone that's spiritually gifted deep knowing Wow, deep knowing. Four of Pentacles, and then we have the Ace of Wands. Give me one more. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, so you've been protecting your energy, and new doors have been opening, passionate new beginnings that are fated for you, okay? This is God bringing in a blessing for you, a new opportunity for you. It's what you deserve. Serendipity. Serendipity. You have your guard up against someone from the past. You are this hermit energy. You're very wise. You're very gifted spiritually. And you have all the clarity you need. 
with serendipity, things are changing for you and you are making sure to protect your energy. You are blocking someone from the past that you don't trust because you've already been enlightened to the truth. So it's like things in your life are shifting in your favor and you know that this person wants to come back around because your wishes are coming true and you're not interested. So you're keeping this person blocked from your energy. All right, Treasure Island, Treasure Island, the full God is opening doors that no man can open. And these doors that he's opening are bringing in a blessing, six of pentacles, what you deserve. The universe wants to, to bless you now. So new doors are being opened for you to be able to be in the energy of abundance. Come to the edge. Yeah, it's the empress energy. Whether you're a man or a woman, it's for the empress. Come to the edge. Come to the edge and it's justice. These opportunities, these doors opening up, you being led toward Treasure Island, things shifting in your favor is justice for you. It's justice. Wow. Let me get one more. The full two of pentacles, two of cups, four of swords. Yeah. It's justice for someone that juggled you in a soul connection and you healed. So because you've healed, God's bringing justice. Your justice is, is being moved on to an abundant life. One where there's happiness, 10 of pentacles. Yeah. You being moved on to an abundant life. It's what you deserve being moved on to 10 of pentacles. Six of swords is movement by the spiritual realm. 10 of pentacles is building a legacy. I love it. That's amazing. All right, let's get, do another round. I love this reading. We'll do the little AE weight deck. Now, if you guys are interested in scheduling a private reading, I'm scheduling for next week. I'm only accepting 10. We have a lot on our plate. Um, also, if you've noticed, I'm not engaging as much. I apologize. I love your comments. It's just I have a lot on my plate, so um, I'm limited on my time. But I do love your comments, so please keep them coming. All right. With the higher power, we have judgment. God's calling judgment on the whole kit and caboodle. Everybody involved. God's calling judgment. Judgment in the higher power. Wow. We got somebody here speak, wanting to speak truth. Somebody wants to spill the beans. This came out in the last reading. King of Swords in the upright is someone that operates in honesty, loyalty, integrity. Eight of Wands, communication. Part of, of this judgment is somebody exposing the truth about someone from your past. An emperor energy, a father figure, or a boss. Or it could be a, a mother figure too. Take it how it resonates. Deep knowing you're this high priestess. You are protecting your energy. God's opening new doors that are fated for you. What God can open, no man can close. Deep knowing. Yeah, see, it's an opportunity for you to move on and embrace peace. The spiritual realm is definitely coming out really strong for you. They're making sure things are aligned for you, that you get what's fair. Yeah, serendipity. With serendipity, things are changing in your favor because you had the strength and courage to close out a cycle. We have two nines here. So nine could be significant. Actually, we have three nines. Three in a row, three nines in a row. 18, nine, and 36. Nine, nine, nine. You may be seeing that number. You have your guard up. You definitely are, are protecting yourself from someone from the past with a six of cups. You are this hermit. You are spiritually wise. <clears throat> you know all that you need to know, so you're keeping this person blocked. This person's only sniffing around because they know things are aligning for you. And they've they've royally screwed up everything in their life. Their finances, probably their health, everything. Serendipity. Serendipity. Yeah. See, it, with serendipity, we can see a wish is being granted. I can see new love or new contracts coming in. That's part of the change in your luck. This is a blessing from God. With Treasure Island, they're saying a new door is, a new path being made available with the full card here that's going to give you what you deserve, Six of Pentacles. The spiritual realm wants to give to you now. Treasure Island. 
treasure island. Yeah, so you passed the test. You healed from the BS. You took your power back and you learned to love yourself. Yeah, you healed from the BS, chaos and conflict. You learned self-love. You learned to set boundaries. So you passed a test here. Yeah, you had the strength and courage to walk away from this BS. You're like, no, that's, I deserve more than that. I'm not accepting. And I'm not going to lower my standard or what of what I deserve. I'm not going to dim my light. With the full card here, justice this new opportunity is justice because you went through a, an experience where somebody could have juggled you um this was a soul union and you healed so because of this you're being rewarded come to the edge yeah and it's bad news for this liar cheater or snake it's bad news because you're winning victory success public recognition all they tried to do to destroy you, God used that as an opportunity to elevate you right in front of them. And they can't look away. A lot of these karmic people are, they're obsessive. They're obsessive with your energy. They can't stop watching you. Look at this. Not only are you the empress, um, but you're calling in a divine partner, king to the queen of cups, someone that will be emotionally available to you. Someone that's loving and kind and sensitive yeah, you are this independent lady of luxury, whether you're a man or a woman. You know how to take care of yourself, your finances, your mental health, your physical health. You don't need anyone but God. The spiritual realm is moving on to victory. You have a purpose to help others, and you're moving on. And you're moving on with a divine partner that brings in so much happiness. Financial stability, it is a soulmate. Yeah, the person that juggled you is going to be in regret. Because the cycle is closed and you are leveling up. You're making plans for the future and you are building generational wealth and that's faded for you. And the spiritual realm is coming in to intervene and to restore balance, also to expose the truth. You don't ever have to worry about lies. Don't defend yourself. Let God expose them. And this is what I don't understand. I was thinking about today. Even... Even if you just have the slightest hint that maybe God might be, a, uh, might be real, you know, because these people don't want to believe that God's real. You know God is all-knowing. God knows your thoughts. God knows your intentions. God knows what you will do before you even do it. So why would anybody risk trying to be secretive? Because God already knows all that you've did and all that you will do for the rest of your life. You think God can't expose you? Oh, it's just, it's so asinine. It makes no sense. People are just so delusional to think that they can pull one over on God. And anytime you're sneaking around, cheating, lying, stealing, or trying to attack someone and you think you're doing it in secret, God's about to expose you in the worst way. You have no idea. 1323 on my timer could be significant. And God will do it in a way that's multifaceted. God doesn't do just one thing. God will elevate you, reward you, bless you, and destroy the people that oppose you all at the same time. And it will be events that are all linked together. Because he's God. He is perfect in every way. He never makes mistakes. You know? I don't know. I just don't know. People just got to learn the hard way they will eventually fall to their knees. They will eventually be brought to their knees by God. Light activation. You're being called to action. It says power surge and earth mission. You're awakening. It just called you to action. Step into the light. And that's what you did. Horus, this comes out all the time. Lady Venus does too. It says belief makes manifest. Thoughts attract and create. You are a powerful manifester. You understand how energy works and how your own thoughts work. Saint Germain. Violet flame. Alchemy. Release the old and make way for the new. That's what you're doing. You're releasing any person, place, or thing that's not aligned with you. Ma'at. Divine intervention. Weigh up your options. Choose the highest good. You have divine aid here. You have the spiritual realm helping you, guiding you, giving you all the clarity that you need. 
Then we got the Hathor light activation, acceleration, brilliance, and stand in your light. Expect things to pick up quickly. Atlanteans, evolution, vibration, legacy, technology, progress, and expect acceleration. That's right. The bottom of the deck says SOP debt, cosmic power, unlimited potential, sacred mission initiation. Oh, that's beautiful. What God can do for you, no man can take from you. I want you to remember that. No man can interfere. No low vibrational entity can interfere with what God has ordained is meant for you. You don't ever have to worry. Stay in your faith. Stay in trust. Don't let the enemy create fear or doubt in you. It's an illusion. It's a scare tactic that puts a crack in your armor for the collective. Nothing is yet set in stone. You have free will. Choose your path. Choose the highest good. Choose the path of light. Adjustments are required. You know, when the adjustments are required comes out, you may be called to change jobs. You may be called to relocate. There are adjustments that they're going to ask you to make to align things for you. Balancing spirituality and practicality so that balance can be restored in your life. A personal issue reaches resolution. I'm telling you, things are coming to a close that are have been adversely affecting your life. Yeah, because justice, a win-win outcome is forecasted. Closing out. Justice is playing out. Don't let pride get in your way. Don't let the ego tell you that you can't take a risk. All right? Because you are good enough. Or that you can't do something. You are good enough. God will only bring opportunities that you can, that you can fulfill. Okay? Confidence is your key to success. That's right. You be confident in all that you do. The end of a tough cycle approaches. It's over. Yeah? That's what I'm feeling. A time for healing. A new start is coming. Beautiful. All right, guys, this is your second reading. I love you, and I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye-bye.